in uh, this screencast uh, we'll continue talking about um, uh, HAR wavelets um, and then uh, talk about in place uh, fast HAR wavelet transform and we'll just work out start with uh, two examples and work them out uh, because uh, the in place uh, fast HAR wavelet transform is basically the same as ordered uh, fast uh, HAR wavelet transform that we talked about in the previous screencast with one um, uh, difference, everything is done in place and the indexing scheme is different. Other than that, in computes, uh, well, semantically speaking, uh, the same uh, type of wavelet transform as the ordered uh, fast car wavelet transform. So um, let's consider this sample 73410 uh, and uh, we will use the same notation that we used in the previous screencasts. So this is the sample um, A2 uh, sub 0, uh, A2 uh, uh, 1, A2 2, and A2 3, where the uh, subscript uh, is the place of the um, value in the sample, the original, and the superscript is the uh, number of sweeps uh, that we have to uh, do to process uh, the sample with the heart uh, transform. In this case, it's 2 and it's the logarithm uh, uh, to the base 2 of the length of the sample, which um, I should remind you uh, must be an integral power of uh, 2, uh, right? Or we have to pet it with uh, zeros, as the case may be, um, if it's, say, an odd number or not an, an even number, which is not a power of 2. An integral power of 2. So we have to do two sweeps uh, and in the first sweep uh, we just um, average uh, uh, the pairs of consecutive values. So 7 plus 3 over 2, uh, 7 minus 3 over 2, uh, 7 plus 3 over 2 is the average and 7 minus 3 over 2 is the uh, wavelet coefficient. So 4 plus 10 over 2 and then 4 uh, minus 10 over 2 uh, 4 plus 10, uh, 4 minus 10 over 2. Um, okay, and um, uh, this is the, uh, so the result, uh, the result of the first sweep um, is uh, 5, um, 2, uh, 7, um, and uh, this is minus 6 over 2, that should give us minus 3. Okay, and um, so this is uh, this is a uh, one uh, zero, right? One is the number of the sweep, right? After the first sweep, and then a one zero, c one zero. That's the coefficient. A one one. That's the second average. A one one, and then this is the coefficient. Right, the second coefficient. So the gap size between the averages after the first uh, sweep is two, one two. Right. We will use that variable in the Java source code, uh, which we'll discuss uh, in the second half of the uh, of this screencast. And uh, uh, the uh, gap size is initially one, and then it's two, and then it's uh, four, uh, and and so forth. That's, so it's it's an integral power of two with every sweep, every iteration through the sample. The size of the gap uh, the the gap uh, doubles. So the second sweep, uh, again, there are two averages, 5 plus 7 over 2. The coefficient uh, is the same, uh, 5 minus 7 over 2, um, and then it's uh, minus 3. Remember, when we uh, did this sample, or a similar sample, in the ordered uh, fast car uh, transform, we just place the averages uh, uh, at the beginning of the array and the coefficients at the end of the array um, by having two arrays, <coughs> which is why uh, we um, uh, that 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 transform ordered fast car transform is not in place. This one is in place, so we do not use any additional arrays. Uh, and uh, for very large samples, uh, the savings uh, in uh, space are significant. So this is a zero zero uh, C zero uh, one. This is then C um, zero zero, and then uh, C one one. Right, C one zero and C one one remain unchanged. Okay, so uh, this is the average of the sample. So what do these numbers mean? Right, this is the average of the sample.
okay so we can check this uh, 7 plus 3 plus 4 plus 10 um, divided by 4 so that gives us 6 um, so minus 1 is the uh, change of the averages from the first half to the uh, second half um, so the change of the averages from the first half to the second half So let's check this. Uh, first half average, uh, um, the, uh, 7 plus 3 over 2, 5. And then second half, 4 plus 10 over 2 equals uh, 7. Okay, and uh, 5 plus minus 2, that's the size of the wavelet, times minus 1 is uh, 7 that's from that's the change okay uh, what's the first one uh, uh, that's the every uh, the, the wavelet uh, it's the change uh, two, right that's the change of the first um, uh, quarter to the second quarter so the first quarter is seven so plus uh, minus two times two gives us uh, three okay so that's the first quarter the change from the first quarter uh, seven to the uh, second quarter and then uh, the uh, C11 uh, that's the um, uh, coefficient of change um, uh, from the third quarter to the fourth quarter and that's 4 plus minus 2 minus 3 is 10 okay let's do another example uh, so 5 3 2, 6, 10, 8, 1, 1. So 5 plus 3, this is 8. So there are three sweeps. So because the logarithm of 8 to the base 2 is uh, 3. So first um, um, consecutive pairs, four consecutive pairs, 5 plus 3 over 2, 5 minus 3 over 2, 5 plus 6 over 2, 2 minus 6 over 2, and then 10 plus 8 over 2, 10 minus 8 over 2, and then 1, 1, pl uh, 11 plus 11 over 2, and then 11 minus 9 is 11 over 2. Okay, so the results of the first sweep is um, uh, 4, 1, 5, 4, 2, And this is 9. One, eleven, zero. So, um, all right. So the averages are um, every second value. So the gap size is two. Okay. So we forget about uh, the values uh, uh, in between, and then just work with the average on the second on the second sweep. So this is um, four plus 4 divided by 2 then 1 remains the same that's just from the previous coefficient uh, from the previous uh, pass uh, 4 minus 4 divided by 2 minus 2 remains the same just 
is carried over 9 plus 11 divided by 2 1 remains the same 9 minus 11 divided by 2 and it's 0 so So this is 4, 1, 0, minus 2, 10, um, 1, minus 1, 0. So this is the, um, uh, the result of the second sweep, and we have one more sweep remaining, so we have the gap size of uh, size 4. So that's the only values uh, that we have to two only two values that we have to uh, do uh, have to use so 4 uh, plus 10 uh, over 2 then 1 0 minus 2 4 minus 10 over 2 1 minus 1 0 7, 1, 0, minus 2, 3, 1, minus 1, 0. So that's it. So 7 uh, is the uh, average of the sample. So Minus 3 is the change of the averages uh, from the first half to the uh, second half. Then um, There are um, one, two, three, four, four quarters, right? And um, zero is the change from the first quarter to the second quarter, right? And then minus one is the change from the third quarter to the fourth quarter. So the first quarter 5-3 and then second quarter 2-6, then 10-8 uh, and 11-11, uh, and 11, right? Okay, so if you compute the averages then you'll see those changes. No change from the first to the third and uh, from the first to second and the minus one from the third to fourth. So then minus, oh, and then one, two, and then we have um, one and zero, one and uh, zero. Those are the changes from the uh, one, right? The first eighth to the second eighth, um, uh, the third eighth to the fourth eighth, the fifth eighth to the sixth eighth, and zero is the change from the seven eighth to the uh, uh, eight eighths. Okay, so let's um, uh, take a look at the Java source code. So we have um, uh, three functions uh, inside a class, uh, all static. Uh, the class is called one uh, one dhar, uh, which you can easily implement. Uh, is power of two measure uh, returns true if n is the, an integral power of two. Um, then uh, so in place fast har uh, wavelet transform uh, takes um, uh, the sample uh, double checks its length. Um, and if its length is 0, 1, or is power of 2, uh, uh, then we just return. Otherwise, we compute the number of sweeps, the log uh, uh, of n to the um, uh, base 2, and then call the in-place fast har wavelet transform with number of sweeps. Right? Uh, that function can uh, be called independently. So, for example, if you can run, want to run it for one sweep or two sweeps and so forth. So, um, okay, uh, now at, uh, gap size is initially, initially uh, 2, uh, and then uh, number of sample values is the current number of averages in the sample, which uh, uh, 
initially is the uh, number of elements in the sample. Um, okay, so then we make sure that the number of sweeps is uh, not less than 1 or greater than n. And then we'll start sweeping. So the sweep number goes from 1 to um, the number of sweeps. The number of sample values is half at each iteration. And then we'll iterate through the sample and uh, we take the current value of this size, then k where we are in the sample. And then uh, the gap size times k plus 1, i is the increment. Initially, it's, the, uh, it's 1, and then it's gap size, and gap size doubles. So a, uh, this is a and c. We'll compute the average and uh, uh, wavelet, and then uh, write it back into the sample, so, which is why it's called in place fast har wavelet transform. So um, this is the uh, main <coughs> function, uh, excuse me, uh, defined two samples that we worked out. And then we define the test in verse 2, uh, where we first display the sample, then uh, compute its in place uh, fast hardware with transform, and then display, display it, and then uh, in place fast inverse har wavelet transform, which we'll discuss in the next screencast, to recover the original uh, uh, sample. Okay, and then display the recovered sample. So the original and recovered sample should be the same. So two samples, let's run this. So seven, three, four, one. This is the uh, fast car e e e e in place wave with transform, uh, and then this is the recovered sample original, and that's our second example. The in fast uh, uh, in place fast car wave with transform. That's the recovered sample. Okay. Well, this is to be continued. Uh, so, thank you.